Vita from Honest and Tasty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are making something that is very simple to make. It can come off a little intimidating and it did to me before I started making it. Once I started making it, I realized how simple it was to make and I really should have been making it for years. We are making flounder in a beautiful butter lemon parsley sauce. It is a typical French way to cook fish, um, but it's really easy, it's very simple, and it is delightful. Skinless fillets of flounder here, and a, we have a fourth a cup of flour that I'm going to add some salt to, about half a teaspoon. Salt and pepper. And the flour is just going to lightly coat the fish to make a little bit of a crust. It is very simple and it is just for a little bit of texture because it's nice and delicate, this fish. You can't overwhelm it with something like this. So just, you just wanna put a little bit on there, um, on the fish. So I'm just going to lightly coat it both sides I actually saw the movie Julie and Julie and Julia, Julia and Ju Julie and Julia, and I saw it only a couple months ago, and it's it's I think it came out in 2009, but I just saw it recently, and I was so obsessed with the scene where Julia Child, played by Meryl Streep, she does such a good job. She she was at a restaurant with her husband, and they brought out some um, of this kind of cooked fish. And like I said, it's a French dish. She was in, in France at the time, I think in Paris. And they brought it out in the pan, sizzling right to her and deboned the fish right there. And it just was like this whole beautiful fish. And she was just like, oh, and took a bite. And she was like, oh, and I was like, oh, I need that. So when I saw that, I was like, why am I not making this fish? It is simple. It, it has to be, it's just, it's just, butter and fish and it's so thin it takes a minute and you're done. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I've got this hot pan ready to go and I'm adding just a tad bit of extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna give it a swirl once it gets hot you can start seeing there it goes the smoke that means it's hot. I'm gonna add the fish going to add two at a time. Just a minute on each side. And we're going to give it one more minute. Okay, so now we've got the fish out and while the pan is still hot, I'm going to cut a lemon and some parsley that I've washed, some parsley um, leaves. Just a rough chop will do. And throw in some butter, a couple tablespoons of butter. And it should start melting. The pan is still hot since it's cast iron. I don't want to burn the butter. This is why I took it off the heat. If you're a fan of brown butter, which is basically before it burns butter, it gets brown and nutty, you can leave it on the heat while you do this, but you don't want it to burn. We're going to add in the lemon juice. And then throw in a handful of parsley, small handful, chopped. Okay, now the fish is going right back in. All of it, oops, there we go. Into the pool you go. And you can even just put it back on the heat for a second, just to, start getting it going a little more. You don't have to, it really won't make a difference. Um, 
I'm just going to do it for a second and once I see it start to bubble again, I'm going to take it right off. Okay, that's all it takes. So now I turned off the heat again. It's ready. Dinner is served. And you can eat this with salad, you can eat it with, we're having it actually tonight with broccoli because yes, this is dinner, a late dinner, but dinner. Let's just take some fish and put it on our plate. Top it with some beautiful butter, lemon juice, and parsley. Another way to make this is to make the butter separately and then just spoon it over the fish when you're done. But I sort of like it this way, putting the fish right back into the butter because then it just sort of permeate, permeates through the whole um, side of the fish. Let us try it. It is so delicate. I love this fish so much, it's so good. I'm in love with this fish and I love it with the lemon. It sort of brightens everything up so it's not too rich. Beautiful. I hope you guys enjoy it too and I will see you next time. And visit honestandtasty.com where you can find all my recipes and more. Okay, bye guys. Hey, it's Beto. welcome, that was weird.